So guys, I met the Viking on. At that moment, I was just like, can this guy be more sweet? Hey girl, I feel like I need to cream in. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hey girls, welcome back to my channel. If there is one video that I've gotten a gazillion requests to make is how I met the Viking. Oh my God, it's time. It's time. And honestly, I've avoided this topic for so long just because just because I'm, I just don't want to start starting conversations. But right now I'm so desperate to make money for baby Aya that I'm like, whatever the people want, the people will get, okay? <laughs> so um, if you don't know who baby Aya is, guys, just watch my previous video. I've linked it right here so you understand. And with that said, please watch the entire video and all the, and all the ads that is running as every month, every single coin. Every single coin that I make from this video will definitely go to baby Aya. And I'm afraid, I'm sorry, yesterday on Sunday I wasn't here because we were running a live uh, that I told you guys to join and we raised 1.24 million Kenya shillings. Oh my God. But you know Rachel Instagram. <laughs> I just remember at some point through the live I was just like, I'm such a proud Kenyan. It was so emotional, but at the same time really funny, encouraging, and at the end of the day we felt <sighs> the togetherness, the sisterhood that came through in that video, in that live stream, oh my god, we went hard for Aya and I look forward to the Easter weekend when we'll, when we'll run another marathon. So you are free to join. I feel so proud to be Kenyan. And if you're from YouTube or if you're from Instagram, honestly, my love, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for coming through for baby Aya. And that, that said, today I'm going to give you guys a story time on how I met the Viking. So that's why I have my... I have my uh, my crown. Does that make me the Viking? No, I'm, a, I'm an African queen. Yeah. <laughs> he calls me the Viking though, but yeah. An African queen. Before I tell you how we met, I'm just gonna tell you just a short description. Like just something I appreciate about the Viking. So the Viking is such an environmentalist, guys. When I met him, I thought I knew so much to do with the environment. My thesis was based on sustainability. And when I met the Viking, I just felt like my environmental awareness and my concerns about the environmental issues just went a notch higher. There's power if you're a couple and you look at certain things a certain way, there's that kind of support and it makes you like really get passionate about it and really get, kind of get lost into it in a positive way and be able to make certain changes in your life uh, that reflect that value and I'm so, Thankful to him that way, so thank you, sir. <laughs> Speaking of the environment, let me introduce to you guys the sponsors of this video. Ta -da! Yes, no green guys. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm happy to announce that I am an ambassador for Dot Green now. Thanks to you guys for the support and thanks to Not Green for inviting me to your team i am so glad that i get to work with you guys because i really love this brand this brand stand for things that i i believe in i believe in these things in my personal life i wrote a whole my my, my bachelor's thesis was literally based on sustainability and looking at what companies are actually doing when it comes to being socially responsible and now i get to work as, an, as a brand ambassador for a brand that is so sustainable. Oh my God. Ah, thank you guys. And I meet a man who is also into environmental issues and is very, uh, thinks of the environment the same way as I do. And he is actually a bit more passionate about the environment than I am, just to be, just to be completely honest. On my effort to be more environmentally sustainable or just to be more responsible to the environment, guys, I cut out meat, not completely. I still eat it. If you don't know guys, eating meat is detrimental to the environment. And let's not get into that. Like let's not get into it. It's just my personal choice. And another way that I've chosen to be more environmentally responsible is to just cut down on my consumption of fast fashion. We can't always avoid this, but I think it's important that we buy things from sustainable brands. And I know Sometimes it's, it may seem so hard, but if you just pay a little bit more attention and you're more cautious on who you are buying from, it's possible to do it. And that's why I'm introducing to you Nordgreen. So Nordgreen is a Danish watch brand from Denmark that has this 
minimalistic Scandinavian style <laughs> that is so chic and so beautiful I love it do you know according to sustainability goals index of 2020 Denmark is ranked number two most sustainable country in the entire world oh my god wow does it make sense that Nord Green is from Denmark? Absolutely, of course it makes sense Nord Green is from Denmark. <laughs> so Nord Green is engaged in many activities that are sustainable and environmentally friendly. For instance, the packaging, guys, hold on. It comes in sustainable packaging made up of recycled plastic bottles, guys, which is amazing. The shipping is carbon neutral. This packaging is gorgeous, okay? And you get this beautiful tote bag, guys. Oh my god, it actually matches my outfit and I'm going to be using this to do my grocery shopping because it's very chic and beautiful to just put your little shopping stuff in there without carrying uh, the unnecessary bags from shopping malls that is just, you know, thinking about the environment. They have giving back programs. They work with Water for Good. They're able to donate two months of clean water in Central African Republic. They also work with Pratham UK, and, and Pratham UK takes ch children to school in India, and Cool Earth that protects about 50 square meters of rainforest in Latin America. More sprinkle, more ice into the cake. I've made even new challenges to be more sustainable. I love the sound of that. They did this by reducing the price for vegan collection. This is to encourage customers to try more vegan products. And you know, most people shy away from vegan products because they're expensive. And Nurgreen is here to just tell you, it's okay. Don't be shy. From April now, Nurgreen is going to reduce the prices for vegan collection permanently. So for this year's Earth Day challenge, because we're approaching Earth Day, we, Nord Green Steve have like exciting challenges to involve you guys that you can see from their website. Oh, they're, they're going to have less plastic week with the hashtag cut the crap. And then less meat week, which I am part of, like I'm eating less meat. Hashtag meet your halfway. Ah. And then the next one is cycling week. Oh, I'm excited. The weather is getting warm, guys. Oh, which is on your bike. Ah. Oh, I love this hashtag, it's so playful. And yes, the link to Nord Green is in bio and also please use code Rachel right here for 15% off at checkout. So guys, I met the Viking on Bumble. <laughs> We're in a pandemic guys, I don't know where you're getting this man, but I can tell you there's some good men on the internet let nobody lie to you guys i know the internet is full of crazy stuff and everything but listen it's the same people you meet outside that are the same people online it's just that online then there's a lot of them and you're most likely going to run into a lot of mess so it's 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 a lot to filter through but it's possible to meet some really nice people and this is how i look at it if you think that you're a good person you're a nice sound human being and you are there. Don't you think that there's also another person just like you who is there? And I know uh, If you like if you tell me about tinder, I'll just be like, hey child, that's a lot <laughs> uh, Tinder is a lot to filter and that's why I like Bumble because with Bumble I feel like I could filter out who who gets to see me Yeah I could filter, I could manage a little bit. It's not as overwhelming as Tinder. So that's how I met him. I remember his his profile really stood out for me. And it wasn't really the photos because you know, men normally have some ridiculous photos of them. I don't know why they're like this. I don't know why. I think women is the exact opposite. Like we tend to have really beautiful photos and then in person the guy's like, I'm getting <laughs> someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting played, but I think for men from my experience It's it's been the exact opposite where a guy would look so ridiculous in their photos are like I'm not saying he was looking ridiculous, but his photos were just there <laughs> They're just so there, but then I was so captivated by like our Chats like we were chatting so well in the beginning. It was a little bit light and just playful here and there but it was quite consistent and then it slowly gravitated towards more lengthy charts and then we started to speak on the phone and this was literally my favorite thing and I remember the first time we spoke on the phone we spoke for like 
you were just supposed to have like a quick chat just oh, let me just hear your voice it's like okay 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 and then we spoke for like two to three hours like it was a long chat <laughs> It was a really long chat. We're like, oh my god, what's the time? We've been speaking for so long. This is just supposed to be like a five, ten minute phone call. And honestly, I think that was a, that was amazing. And that slowly graduated into us kind of speaking daily on the phone. And I would look forward to it so much. That's something so exciting about to be like, hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, can the phone? No, you hang it. Okay, I'll just sleep here. <laughs> cheesy as hell <laughs> that's super cheesy but i i remember those conversations no i won't hang up we haven't even met what we, that's so ridiculous that's so ridiculous <sighs> oh god it was so exciting <laughs> i think that the the initial like it's just so exciting when you meet someone and you just feel like you click so well and for me honestly uh, i had just at this time, I just wanted to meet someone who I felt like I could connect with mentally and that's why it didn't really matter to me what they necessarily look like. Okay, that's a lie. That's a lie because from statistics my friends think I have a type. <laughs> my friends think I have a type and I don't know. I don't know about that. I never thought about it like that, but okay, okay, fine. I, I get it. <laughs> anyway, so we chatted for a while and then we decided to meet. To meet. And on our meeting day, he came to me. Uh, we had planned to go drink because honestly, I don't know about you, but I definitely don't like the idea of going out to dinner with guys, with someone who I don't really like dinner is such a huge commitment for me and i think that going for a drink is kind of easy if things just don't go right like if you don't like this person it's just one drink and you go but if you have committed to a dinner that's a lot that's a lot <laughs> coffee date is a no but drinking dates for me is nice because first of all you get to loosen up a little bit you know can be uptight like breathe Rachel breathe okay fine and also, I don't know, but Swedish people, Swedish people speak when they're a little bit tipsy. And Swedish people open up when they when they have they've had something. That's just like that's just it. <laughs> that's just how it is here. <laughs> so don't judge me. I'm a Swedish people now. That's how we get to speak to anyone. Otherwise, we don't talk to people. <laughs> okay, so uh, we came. He came to. He came over. I got him at the station, and then. We went first our first stop. This is so ridiculous guys. This is ridiculous. I went to buy underwear with him on our first day. Don't judge me guys. Like this was so and after like we after a while we started making fun of the situation. We were like, hey Rachel, I was clearly setting the tone for this relationship. <laughs> I was clearly setting the tone from day one. I took this guy to underwear store. <laughs> Immediately we met like five minutes into us meeting he was already working in underwear so I needed to get something but you can imagine like this poor guy being like am I supposed to touch something like you know it's so it's so it's awkward okay this don't take guys underwear shopping on the first day don't do that <laughs> well I did but don't do it it's awkward <laughs> But he was taking it easy, he was pretty calm about it. So he, he kept it cool, I got everything that I needed. I didn't need much, actually I just needed something because I was a little bit underdressed and I wanted something warm because I live in Sweden and I keep forgetting. So I had to run into underwear store to get some leggings to cover myself up a little bit because I was freezing. That's why we ended up in underwear store. But of course, you know, it's a little bit... What is she... What's happening? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so uh we get my underwear and stuff and then we go drinking and we went to this beautiful rooftop in our city i still remember where we were seated it was such a perfect place with a perfect view and then we went my favorite drink is margaritas because i love tequila i i stay away from having uh champagne because that thing i don't know if it's the bubbles or whatever it messes me up real quick like i just need one glass and i'm gone so nowadays i take 
uh, margaritas because I love the taste of margarita and that's tequila with the salt. Um, margarita with salted rims. Yes, please, give me more. Anyway, we went by, we sat by this place, by the window there, beautiful rooftop, really nice view. We're looking at the city. The city was slowly, just slowly but surely getting dark. Nice view. It was just so perfect. And then we sat down and we're just chatting there and in the process of chatting it was just so it was literally it was so cute <laughs> you know there's this physical chemistry where you meet someone and you're just like oh babies now and then there is like the chat chemistry the speaking chemistry where you speak with someone you just like you feel like you're so much in sync and that was the case yes, we just entered a bubble and to me at least i don't know what you'd say but to me everything else just stopped to exist and i was so much in that moment with him and everything was just so in tuned and i just felt so whole sitting there with him and we were chatting about everything and then he was like he was so sweet he was holding he was like holding my hand and we're just like looking at each other each other in the eye and we're chatting about anything and everything and we're laughing and we're giggling and we're playing with the le like it was just oh god take me back <laughs> honestly that was such a perfect day and then i remember at some point um i, I guess after after we had chatted and everything so it's time to go home and we decided to go to the bathroom together you know it's not what you're thinking we're just going to wash our hands it's a pandemic guys and on the way to go wash our hands he just like stretched his hand to kind of grab my waist in a, in a really nice but masculine way like this and i was like oh who sent you uh, <laughs> who sent you I could already feel that this guy was going to be trouble for me like I could sense it <laughs> I could smell the trouble from a distance <laughs> ah, so he holds my mom like just kind of gently but firmly grabs me to him and, and kind of in a nice way also pushes me forward so I go I go in front and then I went to the bathroom and he went to his bathroom and then we took our things and left. And here is the sweetest thing. Oh my god, are you ready? <laughs> this guy, the Viking, had hid flowers in his jacket somehow. And as we were walking outside, now we were walking, we were speaking, I had told him, he had remembered that we had had this discussion about me being like a hopeless romantic and all that kind of stuff. And he was like, you told me you're a hopeless romantic. I said, yes, yes. Are you still a hopeless romantic? I'm like, yeah, can't you see that I'm drowning? <laughs> and I didn't say that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, why? And then he reaches into his, I don't know where, and then gets me these flowers. And honestly, <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> mother was like, oh my god. <laughs> At that moment, I was just like, can this guy be more sweet? And then he just grabbed and I slowly leaned in and we kissed and it was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. So I sent him, he went back to the train and took the train back home and I went home. So that was our first date and it was such a beautiful day. I think I was so lost in fantasy that I missed my bus stop. Remember when I was going on this date, I had still I had high heels, impractical shoes and then I missed my bus stop and remember it's at night. <laughs> so it's at night pretty late in the evening it pretty it's it's getting pretty late and i missed my bus stop so i ended up having to stop at another stop that was so far and i had to walk back home in stilettos at night <laughs> like 20 minutes walk in the dark i was scared <laughs> but at the same time i had had such a good time that 
it didn't matter really because I was just thinking at how perfect my day had been. And that was the beginning of how everything started. If you liked my video, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Okay. <laughs>